Hello Felix. Hey, I'm making you this video so you can see my gear. You asked me how I set up the uh, baton and the uh, flashlight. Remember that I told you the uh, all my equipment or my weaponry, I store it on the right hand side. I have the uh, pistol. The next is going to be the baton. Now I place the baton upside down because that way if somebody pull it, they're going to be backwards. It's going to, when they pull it, it's going to grab them upside down. They won't be able to deploy it. You know, I can deploy it this way. Anyhow, next I have my uh, paper or OC spray and I keep it as far as forward that I can so my back be completely clear in case I need to sit on the car. And I do a lot of walking, you know, through properties and that way I can freely move without interference from the gun or anything else. On my left hand side, I keep the flashlight. Flashlight is easy, you know, access to it. And it has a, um, a hook on the end of it. So you can place your finger out. So it's actually also a weapon. You can utilize it as a weapon. And I had a green light, so it won't bother my eyes at night. It's kind of dark. Next, and not least, is my uh, handcuff. Now my handcuff, I have a little trick to it. And that is that I have a, uh, a, a pull up uh, handle on it be easier to pull up and at the same time it will become a weapon you can grab that handle and use it as a weapon uh, next I have um, two magazines on the uh, uh, weak side on my left hand side both easy access with this access and I have a tension really high tension on it so they, they have a, uh, a screw on the in between the two, they compresses it, compresses the two um, magazines together, and they're really hard to, to uh, you know, have access to them to pull it out. Uh, how can I say the? To me, the most comfortable way is have everything away from the back, the your low back. Now, a lot of people use four keepers and they actually require some places require you to have four keepers i only utilize three of them because i go to the bathroom quite often you know i'm kind of old now so i go to the bathroom more often than the, the you guys you know the young guys so it's easy for me to pull the keepers out and take my rig out and then put it back together and all the way is up front anyhow so i have the two keepers completely holding the way of the uh, of the gear now the pistol I have a safari lion uh, they has three different setups that you can utilize on the gun now almost all the time I, I place the uh, holster in level three basically Level three is three configurations. It's uh, a compressed screw. They actually put tension on the gun itself and squeeze the uh, uh, the the holster. You know, it's, it's a really tight, precise holster. So basically, with that screw on it, if you twist the gun just a little bit, it, it put a lot of tension on it. It's almost it won't come out. So if someone grabs it, all you have to do is twist. And there will be a really hard time to get that gun out because it's just twisting. Now, also has a band over the, uh, the back of the, uh, of the uh, slide. And at the same time, there is another button that holds that. So to get access to this holster or to the gun inside the holster, you must depress one button, then you must depress another second button and forward the lock. And then without any twisting, you must access the gun. 
Now that is can be done very easily. You know, it's you know, strictly easily if you have the gun set up. Now, I went to a class and uh, I was having really hard trouble, hard time accessing my gun. So the instructor, uh, a fellow named uh, Kevin, uh, no rules, uh, uh, like a Taya, sort of like training me not to twist my body around. So I, I learned quite a lot of that class. So now the way I do it, I just I move my hands. I cannot move my neck too well because I have a plate in my neck. So and, and, and my shoulders cannot move too well either. So I train myself just to move my wrist, my hand. So real easily can, can the gun come out and in the position of fire. So I, I can fire from this point if you need to. Now, you also ask me about my my best, my uh, bullet protection best, and I have a, uh, a, a a best that is not only a best, anti-ballistic uh, uh, best, but it's also anti-lance best. Basically, a lance or a knife cannot go through it. Inside the vest is a, um, it's like medieval mail. It's so, sort of like integrated into the vest, so so that that will protect you from bullets and knives or, or lances. And to me, that is critical to this to do this kind of jobs because I notice that most of the people have. Uh, 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 you know, coating weapons or or sticks, you know, bats and so 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 on. You know, they don't have actually firearms. You know, very few people will utilize firearms. But in a daily daily basis, I see a lot of you know knife. So it will protect all the way around the armpits and all the way to the navel, the belly button. Now. It, it must be comfortable and it must be uh, breathable. You mean you have to use it. And I have used this in all the way up to 118 degrees outside. And right here in Texas, it's extremely hot. And I'm able to comfortably you know, utilize it. Now, notice that I use long sleeve, even in summertime, because it actually help you cool off. You know, it seems like it will be contradictive, you know, like hot, but it's not. It actually could cool off, cool you off, because you will perspirate and it gets wet, and that exchange of, uh, of uh, 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 heat, uh, or, or when the water in the, in the clothes or your sweat will evaporate, will, will lower your temperature. So actually, it feels more comfortable than if you won't have any. Well, some mosquitoes. You know, you get a lot of mosquitoes out here in Texas, so this protect from mosquitoes. Um, what else I wanted to tell you? Oh, the wash. Very important, the wash. Um, you must try to write down every detail that you actually uh, observe. So the watch is important. And I wear my watch backwards on my on, on the bottom side of my hand, not on the top. And the reason is when I grab my little notebook, I put my notebook and automatically I can see the watch. So I can write the time. I don't have to be looking around or moving. So I can be writing and moving my head and my eyes as best as best I can to uh, it's hurt my neck to uh Keep aware of everything saying all the situation at the same time you're writing because people move very quickly. You know, when they start, you know, argument or fighting or whatever, they, they, I mean, you see witness, they move extremely quickly. So you must make sure that you write all everything that you can as quickly as possible and with the correct time. Um, and basically, that's it. Shoes, very important your shoes. Your shoes must be comfortable. Now, I find out the uh, expensive boots like um, couple hundred dollars boots uh, they not really that comfortable 
uh, the one with the zippers on the side, they're very easy to get in and out. But when they get wet or when you walk like three, four hours a day, you know, it starts wearing down on you. So, so you want the, the lightest and more open shoes that you can wear. Like uh, something like from Walmart, Payless, working shoes, very soft, you know, no more than 30 bucks because they will be wearing out quickly. Like about maybe three months, you don't have to buy another pair, but they will keep your feet uh, uh, without injuries, you know, with, without being, you know, rubbing your skin and giving calluses and all that. Because what you want to do is have a soft uh, shoe, a soft and, and, and precise to your feet, you know. You cannot have no worry moving and because it will rub it as you walk and, and it will be like, I mean, you can only walk sometimes. Anyway, basically that's it. So pistol, I have the Safari Land uh, level 3. I uh, have the uh, Baton. I have uh, the uh, Pepper Spread or the OC. And on the other side, I have uh, my flashlight. The tool more important that I use every day, this is the tool that I use the most. And I use it as a sporadic flashes. As I go to, uh, let's say, look at a car, I position myself away from it and I, I flash in it. And I make sure that I'm aiming and it's easily to aim with your hand and just flash at it. And I can see a, 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 a quick photo of what is inside. The same is around cars, below cars, in behind garbage cans or trees or whatever. You can just click on and flash. Then I have my handcuff and my uh, uh, supply of uh, extra ammo. My job, uh, they require two magazines full of uh, 17 rounds. So basically I have 50 rounds of me. Uh, what I also wanted to tell you before I hang the camera, uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, of course, you know, I'm right now wearing a beard because I raised some money in November for the uh, Cancer Society and no shave November, but I don't like to have uh, facial hair, I guess in my way. And uh, today is uh, 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 the end of uh, the year, so I will be shaving soon. Well, have a good one, and hopefully this helped you. I'm gonna see if I can post it on YouTube, so you can so you can see it and uh, 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 maybe help you set up your your gear. Well, thanks so much. Bye.